Hey y'all, it's Jessica and I'm back with another video. Um, this one, I'm making another one because I said I would about um, college tips. And the last video, it got a lot of views, well more than I've ever gotten before. And it got a lot of comments and I was so glad that so many people were like, oh this was helpful. Oh, I'm excited to see more. And it just made me so happy. Just like a big hug. Was requested by um, Anita. A N I I D A 90. She asked, Could I talk about um, how college classes are different from so, high school classes? The first difference is something I mentioned in the last video is that the classes are going to be big. Especially your freshman year, you're going to be in introduction classes. You're going to be in like general, like 100 level classes that are going to have a lot of people in it. Um, not everybody's going to be a freshman all the time. Um, there might be some upperclassmen in there just to get an extra credit, to get a GPA boost, whatever they're there for. But you're going to be there with probably, depending on the size of your school. I went to a giant, huge, I go to a giant, huge state school. So it's going to, so I have like 300 people, to, well, one to 300 people in the class, something like that at times. Um, I mean, it's not like it counted, but it was a big room, so that's what I figure. Um... So that's big classroom and then you'll have a lecture maybe twice a week then you have a discussion once a week with a TA. Wow, it's two minutes already. Okay. So that's how it's going to be set up. Um, as for the amount of work, this is something that's really different from high school. Because in high school you actually have more work than you have in college. Because you have assignments, makeups, just all these busy work, stuff like that. The teachers just give out, you know, worksheets and stuff you just have stuff to do all the time which is good I think the camera is like following me you see that it's weird okay yeah so you get a lot of like busy work in high school you don't get that in college so basically in high school there's more work than there is in college in college there's less assignments but they count for more there's less room for error if you miss an assignment then you're pretty I mean, depend on the class, but that's a really bad thing if you miss assignments, especially if it's a class where, like, there's not that many. Because a lot of times you'll, most of your grade will be a paper or a final exam, then you'll have, like, 10% for participation, and then, like, you usually don't have homework and stuff like that. So that's one big difference. I hope this is making sense. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my computer right now so I will just pull up a syllabus so I can um, kind of show y'all what I'm talking about. Another really important thing is the syllabus. In high school like your teachers tell you when stuff is due, they give you stuff and like they really remind you about everything that's going on. College is not like that at all. And that's a really, really big difference. Your teacher will not tell you, half the time, will not tell you when stuff is due. It's like, it was on your syllabus, you should know. They give you the syllabus and then it's your responsibility. Like, it, they don't even, it's not their business because they gave you the syllabus so you should know. Okay, I'm trying to um, pull up one now. Hold on, you guys. Alright, what else can I say while I'm looking? So yeah, um, the, another difference is that like teachers, like I said, like they won't tell you when stuff is due half the time. They don't spoon feed you anything. And while that's a good thing, it's also like it makes it makes situations kind of difficult. Um, yeah, at the same time, because like you basically like you have to. This is what you have to do. Whatever is on the syllabus to do the next day, like, you have to already do it. It's like, okay, on Wednesday, you know, like, October 3rd or whatever, that is, on the syllabus it says, um, chapter 5, well, like, talking about chapter 5 or whatever, in whatever book you have. You, okay, in high school, if you're talking about chapter 5, that day you go... To the class and then you guys read chapter five or do whatever with chapter five and then you go home and do homework about it basically that's usually how most high school classes are in college the night before or however 
much time before you already read chapter five you look through all the questions you see what you understand then you go to class have a discussion a knowledgeable discussion where everybody's supposed to know what's going on in chapter five already if that makes sense yeah i think that makes sense like you need to you you prepare by yourself before class and then you go to class and talk about it and everybody already knows what's going on you basically have to learn it yourself and then you learn i guess like in class kind of like it gives you perspective on why it's related to the topic that you're on like a good example is math so if you're in a math class you need to go through the whole like section that you're going to do in class before and then you do your homework if you have questions on your homework then you bring them to class the next day and you ask your ask your questions you're not going to be learning how to do it that day they're just going to be at answering people's questions so that's um, one another big yes. difference. Um, Attendance and participation is 25%. Quizzes were 10%. We didn't even have but like two quizzes. Um, written responses are 35% and that was basically you had to, before class, you had to read articles, then make your response, like make what you think about it, and then we come back to class and then we put it into perspective and like put it in a timeline of history or whatever. And then final paper presentation was 5% and research paper was 25%. As you know, there was no homework. There, There's not very much room. Like There were two quizzes and there were 10%. So if you fail one of the quizzes, then you lost the big chunk of your grade. So that's pretty much how every college class is. There's not, like teachers have 300 students. They don't want to grade homeworks and grade a bunch of quizzes and all this stuff they don't do that they give you big chunks and you just work really hard on the big chunks giant chunks okay it's getting like late in the video um yeah what's next was that a weird voice sorry guys um so yeah a lot of some classes will grade you on Attendance, you need to find out if your class is great on attendance and if they do, if they do, attend the class because you, you're like wasting your grade. Like that's the difference between a B and an A or a C and a B could be just coming to class and participating in class and really um, most of that I think is probably going to be a lecture when you're in there with a teacher's assistant which is like a graduate student who's going to be like 30 or like 25 to 30 something like that sorry frost trap um so you're going to be in there with a ta and probably 20 other students and in there they're going you're going to have to write down your name on a piece of paper because they usually don't take role they usually pass out around a sheet of paper and you write your name down and then um the teacher will notice if you're talking or not basically so that's your participation and that's I mean it's an easy it's like an easy way to get points like that's all I can say is an easy way to get points so why not do it um and you think I, mean, I know you're thinking now I'm going to all my classes forget that it's it's hard to do it really because it's like you don't have to be like nobody's gonna like fuss at you if you're not there you don't there's no like principal's office to get sent to like Nobody's going to do anything. If you don't go to class, like, the whole semester, nobody's going to do anything. You're just going to get an F. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's kind of, it does get difficult to get a, to class, especially, like, if your class is, like, across campus and it's, like, early and you're like, I uh, just don't want to go. So, you, it's easy just not to go, but it's really important to get over it and just go anyway. And I went over time, so I will talk to you guys later.